dear students today topic is s or flip flop right we know that the flip flop is nothing but uh, the latch the additional control input with latch circuit is called as the flip flop here we are using a set and a reset state so that's why it's called as a s or flip flop right so at the s or flip flop consists of two additional nand gate two additional nand gate at the s and r input of s or latch the clock input is connected to the both of the nand gates resulting in low outputs when the clock input is low right so s or flip flop is nothing but the two additional nand gate is uh, at the sr input of sr latches here clock input is connected to the both of the nand gates right here the clock is what type of triggering here we apply level triggering positive level triggering which means the next state change will occur only when the uh, level triggering of one so whenever the clock signal reaches at the level 1 that time only it's possible to uh, change the next state from the previous state if the level is zero then there is no change at the output the output will be the same as the previous state there is no change at the output when the clock is zero level triggering right this is the concept of level triggering let's consider Uh, the operation of the SR flip flop, right? So in that SR flip flop, we are using the NAND SR latch. So for calculating the SR flip flop tooth table, we must know the NAND SR latch tooth table. So this tooth table in previous like video, I derived this tooth table, right? You just go and refer it. Um, let's see the SR flip flop operation, right? Let's consider if the clock signal is zero. right which means it's a zero level triggering then what happen if sr input it may be 0 1 or 1 0 is not a problem which means x x it may be a 0 1 or maybe a 0 1 it's not a problem because here we are using nand gate one of the input is zero so one of the input is clock if clock signal is zero means obviously the nand gate output is 1 right so the out nand gate output is 1 means both output are 1 so this 1 1 is nothing but input of that s or nand latch okay we already derived the s or nand latch tooth table right so in that s or nand latch tooth table inputs are 1 1 the next state will be the previous state right so here also the next state will be the previous state okay q n if previously qn is 0 means in this condition also qn is 0 there is no change at the output right it happen when the clock signal is 0 if we want to change the output from the previous state we must apply the clock is positive level triggering which is nothing but clock signal is 1 right so whenever the clock signal is 1 that time only there is an output change occurred okay let's see the possibilities of sr right so the first possibility is 0 0 let's consider s is equal to 0 and r also 0 then what about the second input of both gates 1 1 because clock signal is high clock signal is 1 so both inputs are 1 clock inputs but the another input of both gates are 0 0 So zero zero means what happened? The NAND output is again one one. We know the NAND SR latch tooth table one one combination provide the next state will be the previous state. So in this combination also the next state will be the previous state, right? Q again. Okay. Then what is the next possibility? Clock signal is one. SR is zero and one. So in this case now S is equal to zero or equal to one. in this case s is equal to 0 r equal to 1 right clock input always 1 so one of the input is 0 the nand output is 1 right for 1 1 combination the nand output is 0 the 1 and 0 is the input of nand sr latch so nand sr latch 1 0 combination provide the output is 0 
So, 0, 1 combination provide the output is 0, right? Then next possibility is 1, 0, right? Now, S is equal to 1 and R equal to 0. The another clock input of both the gate is high, right? So, 1, 1 combination provide the output is 0. 0, 1 combination provide the output is 1, right? This 0 and 1 is the 0 and 1 is the input of NAND HR large. The output is 1. So here the output is 1, right? Then the last possibility is clock signal is high and both inputs are 1, 1, right? If S is equal to 1, R also 1. 1, 1 combination provide the 0. Here 1, 1 combination provide the 0. So, SR NAND latch input both are 0, 0 combination provide the next state is forbidden state or invalid state. So, here the next state will be the invalid state. So, these two cases are no change and this is a reset state and this one is a set state and this one is an invalid state, right? So now this is the truth table of SR flip-flop. Whenever the clock signal is high, that time only there is a possibilities of output changes. When clock signal is 1, then output changes from QN to QN, but the input is 0, 0. The output change occurred which depends upon the or with respect to the input combination. Now the QN is changes to 0 uh, when clock signal is high and the input is 0, 1. Then the next stage changes 0 to 1 when at the clock input is high and also the input combination is 1, 0. So, this is the truth table of ASR flip-flop, right?